I'm going to show you a quick video on how to use the name drop function in Stitch Artist. I have this logo that I'm going to be putting on some shirts and it's going to have, I want this, I'll put a name underneath it and for 20 shirts, say, it's an order, and I want them all to have the same font and the same size and fit in there. That's what name drop is. So I'm going to first position my logo up inside my 4x4 hoop. I'm going to go into Stitch Artist and I'm going to choose a library shape in a rectangle so that or square doesn't make a difference I'm going to resize it on the screen and I want this to be the size of the lettering and I'm going to make it left to right and approximately the and exactly the height that I want this to be in my design where it says the name of the design here, I'm going to type in envelope one. And that envelope is that is the shape that I want the lettering to be in. Now I need to put a baseline in here. So I'm going to use my drawing tools and I'm going to, I want the name to be from this point to this point. Right click and I'm going to just drag it down so that it's a straight line across. Now where it says line here, I want this to say name drop one. And that links this box with this line. And this line says how wide the letters are going to be. If I want it to be the exact size of this box, this is the that is exactly how I want it to be. Okay. So now I have envelope one and name drop one. I can choose my lettering tool and that puts my ABC in the center and the first thing I'm going to do is go over to letters and I'm going to rename this one letters. In my text box I'm going to type in the first name just and I normally like to type in the longest name that I happen to know of simply because I want to make sure that it's going to fit. And now I can preview any of the fonts I have on my computer to see which one is going to look the best in this particular font that I have selected. And as you can see, I can use the built-in fonts, I can use BX fonts, and it automatically stretches it, or if possible, to fit the spacing of this particular area. So let me go back and I'm going to choose that Mr. Darcy because that was very that was a nice font. This is from the itch to stitch. What's key is that if I type in Michelle and click set, it automatically sized it to fit this. If I type in Susan, it goes through and it resizes because I have essentials installed and stitch artist installed it automatically takes my lettering and, and does this automatically. The key is your design that you are digitizing in your Stitch Artist has to have an envelope with the numbers next to it that coordinate. So this is number one, number one, and the lettering object, number one. And this is how you can cre easily create a name drop design using Essentials and Stitch Artist.